Welcome to part three of how I lost 10 kilos in 10 weeks. Now, if you haven't seen part one and two before, stop this right now and watch that. Now, if you have, let's move on. So we start this on week two, starting off on day eight of 70, Monday at another 5.25 a.m. workout. So what I did was a five-minute walk warm-up with some stretching of the hips and glutes. Did some deadlifts, did some squats, some dumbbell side raises, dumbbell step-ups, cable curls, leg press, leg curls, plank, and some tricep pushdowns as well. So did another hour workout Monday morning, 23rd of September. Had a little bit of toast, had some toast with avocado on it, and just looking at some tips and tricks as well on other Instagram pages of what they ate for meal prep too. Reading the book, What Would Arnie Do? Do It, Do It Anyway. Day number nine of 70, another early start, 5.30 in the morning, another war, warm up with a five minute walk, stretches and push ups, a bit of bench with barbell flat bench, some lat pull down, seated row, dumbbell shoulder press, face pulls, tricep extensions, ab machine, side plank hip raises, and the body weight three sets of 12 with the pelvic press, and another 50 minute workout. Another zucchini slice prep. So if you want to find the recipe for this, just go online and Google zucchini slice. But essentially what you do, heaps of eggs, heaps of onion, zucchini, flour, and mix it all together with a little bit of cheese on top. Put it in the oven and you are ready to go. Again, I'm showing some of the things that I ate. So it's not necessarily good or bad. So as you can see, a little bit of snits. Who doesn't love snits? Measuring leftover roast with meat, so 200 grams of protein, and another frozen meal with veggie, lentil, dal, toast with some Vegemite, homemade tuna roll. Who doesn't love a tuna roll? We've got dinner, which is chicken drumsticks, some risotto with a little bit of parmesan cheese and some asparagus. Now I had the grand final breakfast, so again, this is going out with a fruit platter. We're talking about coffee, breakfast, bacon, not the healthiest meal in the world, but sometimes you get invited to events where you can't cook your own meal. Now, jumping in to day number 12, another 5.30 a.m. workout, warming up, more legs, legs, hips, leg extensions, more legs, working on the calves, doing an ab workout at the end with Russian twist, decline, bench, sit-ups, and hanging leg raises, a 50-minute workout through there. Now, just because you're on a diet plan doesn't mean you won't get invited to parties. So here we have a party I went to with a cheese board. So yes, you're going to probably graze from the cheese board as well and just have one of those cheat days, which would be a Saturday or Sunday, but try to make Monday to Friday as healthy as possible in the program. You've got kids food through here. It's not what I ate, but just showing you some of the food that you'll come across on dieting as well. A lot of chicken wings. We've got fruit as well, but just kicking on the next day, which is day 13 of 70, 28th of September, another 6 a.m. start. Again, working on the weight training with working on the back, the chest. We're talking more back, more shoulders, biceps, triceps, and finished at 6.40. Not sure what this is, but it looks like a little bit of pasta with some broccoli, some nuts, and some parmesan. Homemade kebab or an open kebab with salad, meat, and hummus. And then day 15 on the workout. So another Monday, 5.30 a.m. start. Working on the legs and arms through that and also some abs. Now, the number one thing with working with any program is working with a professional coach, someone that knows what they're doing, or an accountability group as well. So this was a 10 weeks to lean, JPS Health and Fitness, checking in with my coach. So basically, he said, hey, Michael, short and sweet little check-in. All looks good on my end, mate. Solid drop again. Just about the kilo mark, considering all the events on and being a hard week. So I lost one kilo in the second week, especially for adherence. You've done very well. The increase in protein is a positive. Macro is looking a little better from last week. As you mentioned that you aim for this week to be more on track, then that's what to focus on. Just a little bit more accurate and adherent with the nutrition, and we should see a similar if not bigger drop this coming week. I'm still very happy with this week's result though. It's all about consistency. We don't have to be perfect to make great results over time. Keep at it, Michael. No changes to nutrition needed. Let me know if you have any other questions. Current scales at the moment is 95.6. As you can see, day 17, another workout, 6.15 a.m. down to 7 a.m. So 45 minute workout, as you can see, with weights. Weighing 600 grams of steak, 
some sweet potato. And day 18, another workout, 5.35 in the morning to 6.15, just a 40-minute workout through there with some abs and legs. Another meal prep. So week number three, I think we're on, just meal prepping. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got 28 meals through there for the week. Zucchini slices, a mixture of steak, rice, and capsicum with onions as well. So just some images of the week's meal prepping. Again, some zucchini slice, rice, some steak with some capsicum and onions. Day 20, another workout. This one is just a short 35-minute workout with weights. Moving on to day 22, another workout. So we're at on Monday, week number three, Monday the 7th of October, a 6 a.m. workout to 6.55. So a 55-minute workout with weights and abs and arms. Now, the weight's starting to come off. So we're at 94 kilos on that scale and 93.4 as well. So just be careful because the scales can change a couple kilos depending on time of day, water, and everything else in between as well. Looking at the graph, you can see here we've hit a low point at 93 kilos. The original goal is 89, but going at this stage, I've lost nearly 7 kilos. So thinking of going down to 85 kilos at this stage. So going very, very strong. And as you can see, the changes in the weight is in the graph. Day 25, 5.40 a.m. workout to 6.25, another 45-minute workout. And day 26, getting in the workout. So the most important thing is, number one is food, number two is workout, and then number three is rest. So 5.45 to 6.25, a 40-minute workout. Day 27, another early morning workout, and just some meals. So this one here looks like a bit of sour cream with cheese on an open potato jacket. Now the weight's coming off fantastic, so about 92.4 kilos, so why not spoil myself? Go out for dinner, eat a little bit of pasta with a little bit of fish through there as well. Getting back into the workout, so day 30, another early morning 45-minute workout on the program, doing legs and abs and arms. Another day 31, the weight's now at 95.6, so it's actually shot up after a bad couple of days of eating, but back with the program through here, so as you can see, day number one, day number two, day three, and day four, and you've got different weeks on there as well, so we'll be soon changing some of the workouts we're doing on the second half of the program. Again, the weight does change. So whether it goes from 92 to 93 to 95, but consistently the weight will slowly drop down if you're doing the right things. So at 93.6 kilos right here, eating a homemade lasagna slice, the weight again at 93.1 kilo, and stopping on week five, day 34, another 6 a.m. workout, 45-minute workout, doing some weights homemade bacon and egg roll. Now, this is not the healthiest thing in the world, so I guess this is what I was feeling like. So I've sautéed some mushrooms and cooked a mammoth bacon and eggs. Day 35, another workout. So just keep getting in the workouts. The weight shot up to 94.7 kilos, but we are still on track to another 45-minute weight session workout. The weight's hovering around 94.4 kilo. And week six, day 37 of 70, it done a 5.15 p.m., workout just a quick little 25 minute workout so just if you're short on time you can still do smaller workouts but just get a workout in as you can see having a barbecue we've got salad we've got some meat and some other burgers and a homemade stir fry now the weights dropped down to 92.8 and again on the same day 92.5 so the scales can change if you're jumping on them a few times too so what i did with the leftovers i just meal prepped with that too so as you can see a little bit of stir fry a little bit of meat so next day, bright and early at the gym, 5.30 in the morning for 6.10, just another 40-minute workout. Day number 39 of 70, so we are beyond the halfway point at this stage. A little homemade pizza with some capers. As you can see, I've been more focused on doing the workouts than I have been on the food, but because I've been getting in my consistent workouts, I've actually been changing my body composition through there. So cheated a little bit with some meals. As you can see here, another little cheat meal. And then again, straight back to the workout. So week six, day 41, 6.30 in the morning, just smashing out a leg workout through there. And then my wife made some homemade mini pizzas for the little kids with some capers as well with some cheese, ham, and some tomato paste. Homemade sausage rolls, not the best thing, but this is not what I ate. This is just some of the food around the house. And another little cheap meal with sort of an egg dish as well. Some homemade tacos with some sour cream. And then just a body shot on some of the progress photos of where we're at at the moment. 
and some cheat donuts as well. So these are things that work with donuts. I no, I didn't eat 13 donuts, more like one or two. Now the weight's gone back up to 93.6, but we started at 99.4 kilos or something. So we have lost about six kilos so far. Again, just some progress photos at the gym. So looking okay, the beer belly has gone down a little bit and just a little shot in the jocks as well. Looking at the program again, so day one to day two, day three, day four, we've now gone over to the second part of the program. So week six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The program does get harder as we go, so it's progressive overload of the muscle, which works perfect. So 10 weeks to lean by JPS Health and Fitness. Again, we're on week six, day number 42, starting early in the morning and just getting in the workout before work as well. Now, now just to show you the halfway point on before and after. So on the right, you can see that was at week number one. And on the right, this is at week number five. So we're at the half waypoint so far. So as you can see, the body composition is starting to take place. The belly has certainly gone down and putting on a little bit more muscle as well. Just a side shot of comparison of week one to week five and just the back shot as well. So let me know what you think in the comments below, but stick around for part four of week six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we'll wrap it up where I lose 10 kilos in 10 weeks. Thanks for watching and listening. Have yourself an amazing day. Take care. Bye-bye now. And remember, this is just an average Joe doing a body transformation. No, I'm not a fitness trainer. No, I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing what I did, the failures, the successes, and the day-to-day -day as well. So be kind in the comments. Thanks very much for watching.